Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy here, That Clever Lamp, and today we are going to be reacting to episode 13 of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Also, sorry, my hair, it looks so whack. I just took a shower and yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, def I probably will get a haircut soon and I'll probably look weird as fuck. I, cause I, I don't know. My hair just never works long. I never knew how to style it. And every time I get a haircut, I, I don't want to talk about it. Maybe you guys will see. Anyways, last episode, uh, we saw Edward meet up with the teacher. The teacher kind of, you know, we found out she was also trying to do transmutation. You know, she lost her son. I wonder if there is a, I mean, no, I was going to say, I wonder if there's a lot of people that have done transmutation, like human transmutation. But now that I think about it, you have to be very, very smart and like, like that's just, it's a taboo and it's also very, very hard to do, you know, especially since no one does it. Actually, maybe not. Maybe a lot of people try it, but they're unsuccessful. You know what I'm saying? Um, cause no one has ever done it. I don't, not that I know of that has actually been able to accomplish it. I think you need like the philosopher stones to enhance your alchemy, you know, which I'm still wondering about like the history behind the philosopher stones. Like were they always just natural to this world or cause what, I mean, what I was guessing was that they were like producing fake ones or trying to produce ones that are real so i'm guessing there's real ones in the world you know just somewhere she also saw like god or whoever that is you know at the other world and <laughs> she lost her organs i wonder if that's where my hero got it from you know all my you know he always just throws up randomly when he talks blood i mean we also were getting like a lot more into just like i guess how deep the show can get you know very talking about very real like even like philosophical questions in real life you know talking about atoms and all these like intricate parts of part of the world that make up the universe and everything like that no it's, it's very cool it's very interesting as well and i'm excited to see you know where they go next you shouldn't really know much about like the father maybe they will find out about him finally or something he's obviously alive which i i speculated because they never really talked about him that much you know i think they just said he left before or something like that and i think we saw him like one time or, or something like that no but the teacher's really cool hopefully maybe we'll see him again sometime in the future maybe she'll be a part of the story as sometime as well later on i wonder when we'll see Winry again, and then also maybe the grandma. She's cool. I, I just want him. I just want him to visit her. You know, she seems sweet. But anyways, if you're new here, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate you guys coming back. No, yeah, I just hit uh, I think 45 subscribers, which is crazy. So I'm also trying like as I go on as, as well. So if you guys have any advice for me? Just let me know in the comments. I appreciate it. But yeah, like I said, thank you guys so much, and let's get started. Episode 13: Beasts of Dublis. Beast of Dublis. And managed to survive. I doubt hmm? you even know how impressive that is. Yeah, what the heck? No. Regardless, I can't accept <laughs> the decision. I don't, bro, what? You're expelled. Hey, yo. What does that mean? You can't do... You can't do alchemy? Thank you for everything. Damn. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my gosh. If they ever change this opening, I'll cry. That shit's fire. But what the fuck is happening? Feel free to drop by if you're ever in town. I'm not so sure about that. <sighs> you idiots! <laughs> Wait, what happened? You are students. Oh, uh, okay. Now you're finally free to speak to Azumi as equals. <sighs> Unless, of course, you're too chicken to try. Oh, uh, okay. Damn. Al, Did I miss an episode? <laughs> Teacher. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Coming back here? She, she looks Teacher. like that one demon that came out of the thing. Because we're trying to find a way to get our bodies back. Al. You didn't see the truth, did you? No. I don't even know, I don't what, that really even know what that means. Don't know We need to get Al's memory back. His entire body was taken from him. Oh shit! Oh, yeah, we only exchanged. Yo, that's facts. Is it something bad? <laughs> no, it's more like awful. It could drive you insane, or even leave you brain dead. But I wouldn't doubt that shit. What the fuck? That doesn't matter. If there's a chance that it can help us. Then I want to do it. It's because they're wildin'. Let's eat dinner first. Give me a hint. Okay. <laughs> the rumors are true. Hey, yo! Able to transmute human souls. Nah, who is this? Who is this? Yo, don't tell me Show Tucker's back, bro. I look like a chimera. Because <laughs> that's my favorite character, so I'll be, I'll be hyped. There's only one week left until the big transfer. Who the fuck? Just won't be the same without yeah, he's going to Central. You brought a little color to this dreary desert. Hmm. Checkmate. Ah, you can consider that my going away gift. <laughs> well then, if you're in a gift-giving mood, there's something else I'd like. Yeah, there's so much Sergeant else. Sergeant nah, who is this? Warren dude, that dude looks like uh Hughes. Man. Gather up your things. All five of you are transferring to oh, shit. <laughs> Bam, they just got to move. I've got a problem, sir. Yeah, I just started dating this girl. <laughs> I really like her. Dump her. 
Damn. That's fucked. Oh, is this Scar? Damn. There's no way his name's actually Scar, though. Like, did he have that since birth? Who's that? Oh, shit. I know the animosity you feel. Hmm. A state alchemist is responsible for the burning of our village and the death of our loved one. But your vengeance will only sow the seeds of further violence. Hmm. Is this where Naruto got it from? Cycle once and for all. <laughs> yeah, that's where Naruto got it from. And I'll use my power this dude sounds so familiar. I don't know why I'm from anime, but... It's obvious that I'll only bring more trouble if I stay here. Well, thanks for making this easy, pal. <laughs> oh my gosh. What'd you do to him? <laughs> give you a moment to pray to God. Jeez. <laughs> Not in front of the children. How many of them are alive? Yeah, I feel like that arm means something with alchemy i don't know if it's like a transmutation circle written on himself or something <laughs> oh is it those people bro <laughs> nah nah we know your secret <laughs> meet us at the devil's nest if you want to talk and we know a lot about you well that's good because there's a lot about me that i don't know how old are you 14 well come on then. you think so i should think for myself and you can start by coming with <laughs> Damn. And I decided that I should just make you tell me what I want to know. She. There's no way that affects him, right? God damn. Sorry to drop in. Nah. Bro, nah. For my turn. Oh nah, bro. Bro, I was getting jumped, bro. Right in there. Good guess. Oh my God, Show Tucker, bro. Shout out Show Tucker. Why does every character look like he is now? Ro, Beto, Martel, Dalsetto. Roa? I don't know. Greed. Oh, shit. His name's Greed? He's part of the, um, those people, huh? All right, beer, bro. No one's made a chimera that can talk. You can't believe everything the government tells you, kid. It's not possible. So are all these made for by Show Tucker? Yeah, what the military. Are you saying oh, damn. there's a shadow world beneath yours that's jam-packed with the impossible? Hmm? I'm a homunculus. Uh, homunculus. You know what that means, right? I know. <laughs> artificially created human. Ah, uh, yep. Okay. That makes sense. So were they human before? Nobody's Holy made one. shit. Oh man. Yes, I gotta prove <laughs> Holy fuck. Nah, this is crazy. <laughs> this dude looks like a titan. Hmm. You're just a soul in a suit of armor. Damn. <laughs> People like to talk in this oh my gosh, bro. I'm more interested in hearing what it's like to have a body that'll never die. But his, won't his body, like, an be destroyed? Soul transmuted and bound to an object? It sounds like that's the perfect the recipe, recipe for immortality. See, huh. I'm green. I want everything you can think of. Dirtier than most. Mm. I am nearly 200 years old. Oh my gosh. Just make this easy and tell him. Unless you'd rather be examined. Which means he'll have to take you apart. That's not a problem. In that case, I'll just ask the person, person who did. did. Oh shit. I'd be happy to tell you where you could find him. But first, <laughs> tell me. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I just got his ass kicked, bro. Nah. <laughs> what the fuck y'all doing? <laughs> I love how they're 14, 15, pulling up with these people. Why don't you just ask your partners whatever you want to know? Partners? Yeah, the rest of the Ouroboros gang from the fifth lab. True, damn. They had a couple of armor-bonded souls with them as well. Yeah, what the hell? You know, Do they, know, they don't work together? But we don't talk much anymore. Oh, damn. I wonder if the other oh ones God, don't either. You guys are pretty desperate to get your bodies back, right? Mm -hmm. Because I can teach you how to fabricate your own homunculus in no time at all. I wonder what the price in for a, a homunculus is. is. But I really don't understand why you would want your other body back. Seems like you've got one that's perfect already. No, I don't! <laughs> oh, Al has that mark too on his shoulder. I didn't realize that. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> That would suck, bro. You kick your <laughs> and you want to trade secrets with me? And it's me! 
God damn. Roa, get the armor kit out of here. Yes, we'll dismantle them. Damn. Damn, he's got hockey. Oh shit. Oh shit. Thank you for not throwing hands. Yo. Wait, what the fuck? He would actually kill them, right? Because if he wasn't immortal. That move would have hospitalized. Oh, okay, hospitalized. Us. Okay. Oh, you're one of those guys. You don't care if somebody, somebody beats the crap out of you. Somebody's a finger on a family member. You can flee. A main character. <laughs> Sorry Her. to let you down, but I've been holding back. Oh this shit! I wasn't nah, this kid's unstoppable. Oh, this guy's unstoppable. Like, what the me. fuck? Then you're saying oh you're damn, she she's got to step in, bro. <laughs> <laughs> about to go down <laughs> oh shit again bro not again <laughs> man just got dragged You're chock full of piss and vinegar. damn doesn't even like he's breaking his own arm with it oh shit what did he do to him oh shit dude that's his muscle the fuck? What did he do to his arm? Is he weakening him? You may be a homunculus, but you really shouldn't have told me that your body is human. Oh, okay. Considering that means a third of it is made of carbon. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, scientific. <laughs> and there's one other important thing I noticed. You can't harden your shield and heal at the same time. Mm. I think that it's safe to say <laughs> that I underestimated you. Oh, it's easy me. <laughs> It's on subtitle. Teacher, careful. He's a yes, bro. I know. She I has she's nasty though, right? Oh, give me a break. Don't tell me you're gonna try and start anything, lady. It's no fun fighting a woman. Hey yo. <laughs> <laughs> well now, just what the hell are you? <laughs> oh, <that's why. laughs> Damn. Well, that was fire. Um, sorry I wasn't talking like too much through the reaction. Uh, some people are like talking outside, so I can't really be too loud. But no, that was fire though. The animation is sick too. I think Aniplex made this too, who made the first two seasons of Seven Deadly Sins. So I, I kind of figured it'd be it'd be dope as fuck. But no, this was a lot of um information. I feel like in this episode as well because we kind of you know touched back with Roy. We kind of touched back with Scar. We kind of touched back with the teacher and her, and then finding out maybe Al must have known more. But because it it might because literally. When Ed was going through that whole thing, all of these pictures and stuff were flowing into his head's information. With only the price of his, like, I think his arm and his leg, right? That was it. Or maybe it was just his leg because his arm, I don't know. But with only a small price of a part of his body, he was learning so much, he felt like his head was going to explode. And it's funny, too, because, I mean, even Ed said at the time, like, I was almost so close to, to knowing, like, the truth or whatever. And he probably could have learned it with just, like, another arm or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So the fact that Al, like, knows everything, he must have just... I don't even know. It must have been way too much for his head. He must have just blacked out, forgot about it all, you know. But starting with Roy, you know, he has his team now. He's going to be moving to Central. He kind of made them move with him, especially the guy with the girlfriend. That's funny. I wonder why he wants these people exactly. Maybe just to help him with whatever he's trying to do. I feel like this will be like his main squad or whatever that will he'll be using to his advantage to try to get. I mean, his goal isn't technically a philosopher's stone it's just he said he wanted to like fix the world as i remember so i mean maybe he could use the philosopher's stone to his advantage obviously so maybe he'll be going for it later or something and then the ish fallen people we saw that was pretty interesting there's a lot more members than i thought there would be i thought like scar might have been like the only one or maybe a couple that we saw earlier on but like the two people that saved him i thought maybe they were the only ones or something but now it looks like they're hiding somewhere just randomly i don't know where it is i think they said somewhere northeast or something like that and then you have people like constantly trying to kill scar trying to get him for a bounty and stuff i don't know i think that was the stake alchemist right that he attacked or is that someone else i can't really tell too because the, the voices changed so I, I don't maybe i could pick it out if it, if it was the same sub and dub if i was watching the same thing but i, th I thought that was the guy he's like trapped in the cage unless he already killed that guy i don't know they just kind of look similar a lot uh, some of the characters look similar in a sense like literally two of the characters look like hughes i thought <laughs> i was like oh it's shit i thought it was his son maybe at first or something i was like oh okay you know like not nah, but the main discussion point is this new enemy greed so so far i think we've met four of the members right because I'm, I'm guessing they're the sins. Seems pretty apparent now, especially because we met four of the people, Lust, Envy, Gluttony, and now Greed. And they all kind of have personalities similar to those traits. You know, one eats a lot. The one girl, I don't know if she lusts for people 
or lust for items or, or well, I don't know what the, exactly that is for. She was talking something about a sacrifice with with Ed. Uh, so I'm not sure if that sacrifice meaning maybe they use his body for transmutation, but it's weird that they want him specifically, you know. But now, now greed, you know, he wants fame, money, wealth, power, sex, success, you know what I mean? He has a very interesting power, which I thought was going to be a lot harder to def defeat, but he was, Ed is really smart and he really thought about it, use alchemy. I wonder if they will capture Al and then th it'll be like a whole like rescue type mission type thing. Maybe they'll like get closer to some type of base or some type of like, you know, operations, but he doesn't work with them anymore with um lust and, and envy and all that. So I wonder what kind of fallout they had through, you know, I feel like something bad must have happened or Maybe they just disagreed on certain stuff. But he said he's been alive for 200 years. So I can imagine they've been alive for long, like just as long or longer as well. I don't know. It just makes me think about it. Like just more of the lore of like what happened. <laughs> like it's been 200 years and they haven't figured it out. You know what I mean? He's immortal, kind of. I mean, I don't really get that either. He can't die. So how do you kill him, right? So, so it, doesn't that make him immortal? Or maybe if you like got rid of his hands or something maybe he couldn't transmute to bring himself back or something or unless he has like a certain number of lives or so something like that because we saw Hughes kill that one girl and she just went now the animation was cool I really enjoyed the fight I wonder if Al's got or yeah I wonder if Ed's gotten stronger like maybe he just figured out this guy's weakness you know more quickly you know it's very situational based he didn't really know they were humunculus or whatever you know before when he was attacking them and all this other stuff he was also like injured and I wonder if that was done on purpose because he can't he maybe he can face him right now these people that seem so old as well but yeah we're missing like three members now which is crazy um they all have that same tattoo i forgot the hubris tattoo or whatever they called it i wonder what that symbol means like on um izumi's like upper chest or whatever because i, I didn't realize it, but al has the same thing but it's like red on the side of it now i was scared for al i thought they were gonna try to like smudge it or something like that like i wonder if you like literally lick your fingers and just erase it will it just go away all right so i think he sacrifices leg to know the truth or get a glimpse of whatever the truth was and then sacrifice his arm to save his brother right to, to transmute his soul no but this is hopeful i feel like this is like the closest we've been to like knowing more of it i feel like just with the amount of people that are here and he like told a lot of information you know they've been here for 200 years that one guy um he lost all of his body too along with his brother so I wonder how much of the truth even they might have saw you know maybe they forgot as well but that's interesting they had a fallout i'm not sure exactly what happened i can't even guess what 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 happened between them, you know, I don't think I could guess is like a, a disagreement with their values or what, what they're trying to do. Seems like he has his own crew. Greed does. Maybe the other three are together or maybe they all have their own crew. Like, I don't know. I just wonder what's going to happen in the future with Central and then, uh, you know, what Scar is doing and where he's going and then Ed and, and this guy and then L like Lust and everything. Like, and then we still don't even know what um Isaac was trying to accomplish in the first episode, you know, when he was putting a transmutation circle around the thing. Like, I really wonder what that was for and, and what exactly is going on and, and just the history 200 years ago and everything like that. I feel like this is cool, too. I feel like um, Naruto might have taken inspiration from this show because I think the manga started, like, a long time ago before, like, Naruto introduced, like, pain and all those people, you know what I'm saying? With, like, the ideology of hatred, bringing more hatred and, and all this other stuff. <laughs> no, shout out to Iz Izumi, too. It was funny, her coming in and being like, I'm a housewife, and, like, beating his ass, whatever. Kind of saving a Edward. I feel like he'll probably... I don't know if he'll try to escape, you know, because I don't think he can die, so... I don't know. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If I miss anything, let me know in the comments. I appreciate it. If you're new here or not, like, subscribe, comment, do all that, please. No, but yeah, this show's dope. I, I can't wait for you to see what next episode. Hopefully, people are, are doing stuff out there. It's not going to be louder, but yeah, I appreciate the support. This was dope. The fights were dope. Can't wait for next episode. Catch you guys later. Bye.